Well, hello from Buenos Aires. It is lunchtime in the city, and today we have a very special meal planned for you and for us because we're going to be eating it. We're going to a place called El Club de la Milanesa, and they specialize in Milanesas. And we've been there once before, we loved it, we knew we had to go back and make a video. So let's get going. across the city and today we're eating at the one in Recoleta. <laughs> Have you chosen what you want for lunch, Sam? I think we're getting pretty close to ordering our meal, yeah. Yeah. So they have some pretty cool napkins over here. Come sin culpa means eat without guilt. And we're pretty good at that. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, so we have placed our order and now we're just filling up on bread until it comes. But Sam, can you tell us what a milanesa is for people who aren't too familiar with this dish? Sure, so milanesa is basically a meat fillet that mm -hmm. has been dipped in egg and coated in bread and then deep fried. So it's somewhat similar to a schnitzel but it has a very unique Argentine twist. Yeah, it's really good. It's thinner than a schnitzel actually and it's usually veal but it can also be beef or chicken. chicken. Yeah. actually have to try these in order to be able to tell you what they are exactly but at first glance this looks like guacamole barbecue sauce mustard this looks like mozzarella cheese with a tomato and basil this one is ham and cheese and tomato sauce this is a cream of cheddar and melted cheddar with bacon over top yeah. So, yeah. And we couldn't decide which one to order, so why not get a sampler portion? Yes, yeah, so we got seven different ones to sample, and that comes with a salad and these delicious potatoes. Choosy fries. All right. This looks good. Let's get all the toppings on there. <coughs> How's that? Oh yeah. So that's veal, cheddar cheese, a little bit of bacon, um, and like thinly sliced spring onions on top. And it's really tender meat, like it's so soft. Wow. So I am having the caprese one, which is spinach, cheese, which appears to be mozzarella and tomato. I think that's actually basil, but we'll let it slide, <laughs> Sam. <laughs> that's really good. When you add the tomato like that, it gives it an extra bit of juiciness, which I really like. Yeah, nice and fresh. Mm, good stuff. Next up, guacamole. Yeah, this looks a little bit Mexican. Let's see. Try some of this. Mmm. That's good guacamole. It has lots of lime. Mmm. It also has tomatoes. And I think I'm having parsley, not cilantro. I can usually tell when it's cilantro. That's pretty special. But yeah, another good one. All right. Next up. This one appears to have ham, tomato sauce, and cheese as a topping. Mm. Mm. Wow. You know what? I thought that the kind of cheese they may put on top of this, you know, might be like processed or kind of low quality, but this is really good high quality cheese. And so far, this one is by far my favorite. Okay, yet another. Any idea what this one is? Um, I think it's barbecue sauce, just at first glance. Smells um, like it. We'll see. Let's get that on there. It's a sauce on that one. 
Mm. And it's barbecue sauce. Oh, you know what? I grew up eating milanesas, but I never would have thought to put barbecue sauce on it. Like, that's pretty unusual. But it works. I actually like it. I think it may be one of my favorites so far. Just taking a second bite. That one appears to have pickle. Yeah, let's see. It looks like Dijon mustard. Has a pickle, has some bacon, spring onions. That's Dijon mustard for sure. Again, that's a bit unusual. I tend to only put mustard on hot dogs or sausages, so I've never had it with Milanesa before. But it works. It's different. All right, and last but not least, I've got one that appears to have the cream of cheddar with some bacon added. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's like having high quality cheese whiz put on top. And then you add a little bacon. Big time winning combo. <laughs> Big time. Okay, so this right here I'm really excited about. This is our side dish and it's called Papas Criminales, criminal potatoes. And again, this looks like an Argentinian twist on the Canadian poutine. So it's french fries with lots of different toppings. So let's take a little tour of the bowl and I'm gonna tell you what's in here. Tell so we have mozzarella cheese and cheddar cheese and we have red onions and some paprika and spring onions. So why don't we just mix it all around? Oh, and scrambled eggs. I forgot about the, oh, and bacon. Oh, <laughs> it's the dish that keeps on giving. <laughs> Look at that, a little bit of everything. Oh my, I love poutine, so this is right up my alley. Look at that. Mm. Nothing healthy about it, but I bet it's amazing. I know. Our main order of Milanesa came with these potatoes and a salad. And I think the salad is going to be a little bit neglected on this meal. So we're finishing up the meal and Sam has all together given up on cutlery. It's caveman style the rest of the way to finish all of this. Yeah. Well, we sure took care of that. How Demolished are you that. Feeling? This is a classic case of my eyes being a little bigger than my stomach. I am like, I'm not full, I'm beyond full. So basically, my siesta is going to be starting really early today and I think I'm going to be having a longer one than usual. All right, and if someone wants to try to get similarly stuffed like mm -hmm. we did, what would they be looking at in terms of price? Okay, so that whole sampler platter with the potatoes, you know, the criminal potatoes and the salad came to over 300 pesos, and that's just over 20 US dollars. So not a bad price for feeding two grown people. Yeah, we could have used a third person, honestly. Yeah, bring a friend.